Dollar Tree and they have new movies which I didn't think they would ever get and I see something I want straight off the bat well maybe we'll see uh, so let's take a look here I noticed some blu-rays one I've actually been wanting so we have Robocop uh, Son of the South which I do not care for Capone I have been looking for Capone and Hard Kill, I remember when that came out. I doubt it's very good, but I'll try it. Uh, I'm seeing another one I did enjoy. What Men Want. That was pretty funny. I'm seeing Body Cam on Blu-ray. Where should I put these? Let's put them over here. If I could find this on Blu-ray, I'll take it on DVD. But that was pretty good. Um... Shark Knight, we got another Hard Kill, Atomic Blonde, Act of Valor, Bloody, uh, no, huh, we do got a lot of Ninja Turtles and Nickelodeon, uh, Turtle Power, Definitive Story of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, oh yeah, what is Shark Knight, huh, I'll look into that, could be good, Transporter, I'll pass on that, Zoolander, I've already got. Let's see, we got some more Blu ray stuff back here. The November Man, uh. Ooh, what is this? Filth. That looks interesting. I can't remember if I have the November Man. Huh. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's see what's back there. Any Blu rays? Oh, I'm seeing. Wow, I think all the Blu-rays were put back here. Unlocking the Da Vinci Code. Act of Valor, which... I don't think I have anymore. But I would have to check. Um, first, I'll go for the Blu-rays, then I'll take a look at everything else. See if anything catches my attention. I see Oculus that... Whoa. I believe I just bought that. I forget where I bought that, though. The Best of Me, Blu-ray. I'll take that. Well, I'm seeing a lot of Blu-rays. Whoa, Masterminds, yes. Yes, okay. Yo, Dollar Tree showing up today. I knew, you know, we have discussions on our live streams about Dollar Tree quite often. Cal Daly's right, they do have some pretty decent stuff sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. The best of me I already got. Wow, they got In the Heights. That's fairly new. I'm seeing Space Jam. They got Juice. Wow. Let's see what else they got back here. I'm seeing Jack Reacher. Whoa. What men want? Robocop. That one's kind of new. Uh, been here for a while. Like a Boss. I actually really like this movie. Wow. Like a Boss. What is this? Corporate Animals. Ed Helms, Demi Moore, oh my god. Yo, my stack's getting big. I might have to take it easy on some of them, but we'll see. Drew Roberts. Wow, we got some Studio Ghibli. Or is this, oh, Shout Factory, wow. Okay, I'm noticing Teen Titans go to the movies. I have that already. I wish I didn't, because I really love that movie. And I paid a lot for it <laughs> when it came out, but, you know. Bad Moms. I think these were all hidden back here, so nobody saw them. Jack Reacher, that's a good find. Got it already, though. Twilight, I will pass on. Uh, we got more Blu-rays. Holy cow. Sorry to these things, whatever these are. Woo. I'll put them back, don't worry. Uh, Asylum. I got no clue what that is. Godzilla. I believe I have already. Bad Moms again. Night of the Living Dead 3D. Conjuring 2 I already have, but that's that's a good find. Okay. We got whatever that is. No Blu-rays here. These look to be DVDs. Wow, Dumb and Dumber 2 Movie Collection. I'm seeing another Turtle Power. That one's artwork looks to be in better condition. 
Uh, we got Killer Elite, which I have. I bought that at Dollar Tree. No, wait, at uh, Big Lots. Uh, Private War. And that looks to be about it over there. Alright. Now we're going to go back through. Let's see what we got so far. Alright. Turtle Power, I definitely want that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. See, uh, Criminal Minds, I'm probably going to like that. Ed Helms, like a boss I've seen, I know I want that. <sighs> Brick Mansions. <sighs> See, my thing is, the codes are in them, so it, it makes it worth it at a buck. Masterminds, yeah, that's another one. Again, with the codes, the codes are in them, so if they work. Filth, what is this about? Uh, detective... Spend his time indulging in drugs, alcohol, sex, easy games. It's James McAvoy, right? Which I do like. But I'm going to be... I'll put it to the side. I'll watch the trailer. Shark Knight. I'll look that one up too. I doubt I'll pick it up though. Uh, body Cam. If this doesn't have a Blu-ray, I'll definitely grab it. Uh, what Men Want. I did want that one. I have seen it and liked it. Hard kill, I could probably pass on. Capone, I've been wanting to see for a while. There's our stack so far. Alright, Act of Valor. Swear. Is that Christian Bale? Wow. Okay. These TMNT ones are calling out to me. Entry Shredder. Is that the only one they got? See, they got a whole collection out, so it don't make much sense for me to get that, sadly. Although I do like those movies. Uh, they have Avatar, The Last Airbender. I did not care for that. And I knew I wasn't going to watch it. So I got rid of it. So I'm not going to buy it again. Trick or Treat Spooky Collection. DVD and digital. Huh. We got Albert. I've actually seen that. And it's not that bad. But I don't need it. So, I won't buy that. I got that already. Sadly, I paid like five for it at one point. Let's see, we got a bunch here. Make sure there's no Blu rays I'm missing out on. Men at work. Nope. <sighs> Queer Duck, the movie. Okay. He can't even fly straight. <laughs> That's. I'm sure that's great. <laughs> uh, the hard kill, Robocop. All right. Safe Haven. We got some. I'm sweating. It's hot in here. Uh, Curious George. The best of me in the Heights. Mirror, mirror. Uh, I'll put this back. I'll be a, be a good person and put that back. <laughs> uh, like. I would want this just to see if the code inside works, but to be honest, I don't think it does. The Lucky Man Season 1. Stan, oh, Stan Lee. I got so much TV I ain't seen yet, though, so. Uh, Bad Moms. Godzilla's pretty cool to find it. Uh, you know, for buck twenty-five. Same with this, but it's DVD. If only with Blu-ray. Phobias. Shooter. Wow, that's the one those Walmart slip covers. I like that. Okay, that's cool. How to Train Your Dragon short film collection. Uh, I did like those short films. I think I, I can't remember if they're on the Blu rays or not, though. Batman Ninja Turtles, that's pretty good. What is this? Hell on Wheels. Somebody let me know. Is that any good? Never seen that. Uh, one more look there. No. Uh, gift. Berry Bunny Adventure. My sister used to watch that show. Ruby and Max. Alrighty. I'm sweating like incredibly badly. It's hot. 
All right. So I am going to look up on some of these movies, see see what I'll grab. I'll get back. Guys, so we are back. I did actually stop at a Walmart, so I did think I would, or I thought I'd show you what I grabbed at Walmart. So at Walmart, I grabbed Lilo and Stitch 1 and 2. I do have a feeling Lilo and Stitch will make its way to 4K at one point or another, but I don't believe the second one will. But again, there's always a possibility, but for $15... I figured I'd pick these both up. My sister loves both of these. I love both of these. I didn't have them either of them in the collection yet. So yeah, Lilo and Stitch. Two movie collection. That'll go back there on my Disney shelf. Alright, but what are you here for? Dollar Tree. They had quite a bit. I had seen some videos circling around. And I didn't expect to find this much stuff. But, you know, I had to check. And they had some stuff, so... Let me show you what I grabbed. Actually, I spent $13, so I got all this for cheaper than I got the Disney movie, but I guess that's the game of Disney. They're usually more expensive, but the day the Disney movies are showing up at Dollar Tree, let me know because I'll be, I'll be there. All right, so first one we got is Corporate Animals. I'm a huge comedy fan. I love comedies, um, so... Ed Helms was a no-brainer for me. I think this looks pretty funny. And I did sit there for a couple minutes, and I looked at all the trailers for the ones I haven't seen. I looked at reviews, and a couple of the ones I wanted to pick up, I put back because of some people I follow, and I kind of trust the reviews. Um, so I said, okay, they didn't love this. Nobody else on Letterboxd seemed to love this. So I'm just going to assume I won't love it, although there's always a chance I check it out. A lot of them were on Tubi, so I can still check them out in one way and then go back if I want it. Whoa. So yeah, Corporate Animals. I think this one's going to be right up my alley. And yeah, buck twenty-five. Then we have Like a Boss. I've actually seen this movie, and I do think it's pretty good. Uh, it is Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek. I mean... Yeah, Selma Hayek. Do I have to explain more? But uh, Tiffany Haddish, I believe, and uh, I can't. Her name's Rose Byrne. I don't, she was in Modern, not Modern Family, Instant Family. But yeah, a pretty good movie. And I think for a buck twenty-five, I could not pass up. Then we have uh, Brick Ma Mansons. Ma Mansions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, so this is a um, Paul Walker movie, and uh, I've not seen this, but it is distributed by 20th Century Fox, and so my thought process was, okay, it seems interesting, it looked pretty decent, and also, it's 20th Century Fox, I don't see Disney repressing any of these at any point and them owning them so i said i'll grab it that way if i do like it i won't regret not picking it up and again they got the codes in them so all right next up is one i picked up solely because the cast um i didn't bother the look of the trailer just because this cast was up there like the the cast is just phenomenal so you got zach gilvanak i can't say anything today owen wilson uh jason Jason Sudeikis and Christian Wig. Uh, so yeah, Ted Lasso's in this. You got Lightning McQueen, and you got the guy from The Hangover. I mean, yeah. So <laughs> there we go. Another one along the 20th Century Fox line. We got the Best of Me. This one did look pretty interesting, and I do like Mr. Sonic Man, Mr. Mr. Jury Duty. All right, we got What Men Want. I have seen this. It's it's not great, but it's pretty funny. Uh, I have a laugh with it, so, yeah. And I do like uh, Tracy Morgan. He's pretty funny. Uh, next up, we got Capone. I've been wanting this one for a long time. I remember when it came out to Walmart, and I never grabbed it. So having this is pretty cool, especially for about 25 I can't wait to check it out. It's been on my watch list for a quick minute. And Tom Hardy playing Al Capone. Yeah, give it to me. Alright, next up we have a Shout Factory. This is a uh, Satellite Girl and the Milk Cow. I figure, you know what, for a buck twenty-five, 
I'll pick it up. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's the Shout Factory um, G Kids. So if I don't like it, I'm sure I can get my dollar back at a trade-in store or something like that. So yeah. Uh, finally, one of the cooler finds um, is uh, Turtle Power: The History of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, so they had a quite a bit of Ninja Turtle stuff there, but this was the one I ultimately went with, and pretty happy with this. I've been into documentaries recently, as you guys know, I did my own, uh, so that's out currently. I'm probably gonna try and get these Dollar Tree videos do well, so I want to get this out as soon as possible. So. My documentary is going to be for sale still, and it's linked down below. It's called Collection Questions. It's about physical media, so if you want to check it out, link in bio. But, um, yeah, a documentary about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I didn't even see if this had a Blu-ray. I should have looked it up, but regardless, I want to check it out, so it's probably one I'll watch real soon. So, there we go. We got how many titles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 11 titles with the two movie collection not a bad trip i did not expect to leave the house today and grab anything to be honest with you so yeah that's it for now guys let me know what you thought of this video subscribe like comment if you got a comment and we'll talk to you later